All righty, I have some news to share, okay? Because I know any of you enthusiasts that attend Wonderland on the regular have the same opinion as each other, and we are all in silent agreement that the food options this year because of COVID, okay, we're gonna, it's because of COVID, weren't that um, appetizing, okay? It, it the uh, some of the best food at the park were the chicken fingers and fries, um, but due to the limited options, and I can vouch for the park because of shipping and shortages at warehouses and all that, they probably only had to pick from hamburgers, chicken burgers, chicken fingers, fries, and pizza. So I get it, but it looks like Wonderland snapped. Okay, and I don't, I'm not even. I don't know why I said looks like. I got to try this food today with a group of people and we were all in agreement that the food we had today at Wonderland was better than some of the best restaurants we had been to. It was amazing. I swear to God, I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid. Some people are going to literally come for me. So, uh, literally, there's always like one comment. There's always one comment that's like, Brennan's drinking the Kool-Aid or Brennan's just sucking up. No, that's, <laughs> that's not the case. This was absolutely good. Look at the food. Look at it. This isn't Wonderland's promotional material, by the way. This is what we actually got, okay? That stew, the beef stew in a bun, was to die for. Look at it. That looks like promotional material, the uh, the beef stew. I took that photo. I literally took that photo. The one on the left is a little sloppy, okay? My photography isn't, you know, I, mean, I ain't a photographer. I'm not trying to pretend to be one, but... The one on the right I took, it's good, okay? And it tasted good. It was good quality food, too. It wasn't like that food that you buy and you're like, you think it's good because it looks good and then it ends up not being good. Everything about all this food was good. I had the bangers and mashed, the sausage and mashed potatoes with the um, roasted, like, uh, vegetables. It was so good. So good. Um, our friend had the chicken with the uh, roasted potatoes and squash, and they loved it. Everyone loved their food, okay? And you can also get a chili cheese dog now at Knight's Arms, I believe is what it's called. I'm gonna get canceled for not remembering the name of that, but there's new food all around the park, and they're calling it their fall menu. And I am so thrilled that Canada's Wonderland has a new menu and that they're doing a fall menu and that this menu happens to be just as good, in our opinion, as the Winterfest menu. For those of you that got to go to Winterfest, you know the food was amazing. Amazing. Okay? And the fall menu at Canada's Wonderland is now amazing. So now all Wonderland has to do is create a summer menu and it needs to be amazing next year. Okay? They're so close to perfection, and I will now, literally in any video that I do for 2022, that before the park opens, I will promote the dining plan, because it is worth it. It is worth it. It was so good. I kid you not, you had six of us sitting at a table, literally, we sounded like a commercial for Wonderland, even though no one was filming, and we were all like, wait, what? This is amazing. So, um, you have to go to Marketplace at Canada's Wonderland, um, bring photo ID. Uh, you don't have to have photo ID. You can actually use your season pass because it has your name on it with your vaccine passport or you're just a proof of second dose vaccine and um, you'll be allowed in and it's on your meal plan. Get any of the food options there because they're all good. They all look amazing and it's really high quality food. The buns aren't stale. Nothing about them was stale. The food was hot. It was good. And sit on the patio out back. Sit on the patio out back. It's great. It feels like you're in a different park. It's no one else's out there. It's like a little hidden gem. Um, but uh, yeah, I had to share this with you guys. Go to Marketplace. There are other options around the park that are upgrading their fall menu as well. And they have a Halloween haunt menu too. The menu changes. It changes during Halloween haunt to other new food. So they're not even lazy where well, they weren't before. And I, if they were serving this food during Halloween haunt, I'd be happy. So I'm not trying to call them lazy if they were. But they switch it up and there's other new options for Halloween haunt. So you got to go to the park during the day and during Halloween haunt. Because you got to try this food and then you got to try their Halloween haunt menu. Okay? This is not sponsored. I swear to God, don't come for me. But you got to try the new food at Wonderland. It's amazing. I had to share the message. Um, thank you so much for listening to this video. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Um, get out there. Get your dining plan. Get this food. Eat it. Mm -mm -mm. Have a good one, guys. Bye.